Okay, so we've got a lot of attention happening right now, and it's focused on government, government restriction of churches. And when you look at the situation, you understand it, right? I'm a First Amendment advocate. I know that government abuses are a real thing. They're a potential threat. When you look at the Founding Fathers, they specifically led with the First Amendment to protect people from the government, from, from intrusion by the state. So when we're watching these massive gatherings unfold in the streets and we see politicians sort of turning the other way while they're simultaneously legislating and mandating what churches can and can't do, it raises some eyebrows. But at the same time, I'm also keenly aware of the fact that we've lost over 150,000 people. This isn't made up. It's not a figment of somebody's imagination. It's, it's a reality. This is real. But what is so crazy about all of this, the church shutdowns, society shut down, is that we have this tragic sort of end result, right? And it's a spiritual crisis. It's, it's this apathy that we're seeing. And if you look at the American Bible Society, they just put out a survey, the state of the Bible. They put this out every year. And a summary of the research reads, quote, the data show that scripture engagement has declined amid the COVID-19 outbreak, and there is a clear relationship between scripture engagement and in-person church participation. So what does that mean? Well, in June, when the research was conducted, the percentage of Americans, and I laugh, it's not even funny, um, reading the Bible daily fell to 9%. That is down from 14% in the last wave of the study. And people were basically having a hard time keeping up with scripture. Now listen, I get that church plays an insanely important role in keeping us connected to others and to the Bible, but I can't help but be troubled by the fact that at some level, it feels as though many of us are just throwing in the towel when it comes to sort of personally maybe cracking open our Bibles and engaging in scripture. The trouble is that Christianity is not a spectator sport, right? We are the ones that have to dive in and form a relationship with God. It's not something our pastors can do, our parents can do, our friends can do, our congregations can do. It's on us. And unfortunately, the church restrictions brought on by COVID have created this bizarre hurdle that apparently we can't or don't want to clear. We've got churches closed. We've got our Bibles closed right alongside them. And I get it. I mean, churches are in a tough spot. We're trying to abide by the law of the land amid the pandemic while also not ceding our rights to the government. You've got John MacArthur and his recent decision to reopen his mega church for in-person services. It's a choice that really runs counter to what the government in California is asking them to do, which has remained closed. And I see tons of Christians with opinions about all of these things, right? And my personal view is that maybe we should be wary of opening churches, you know, in COVID hotspots. At the same time, we need to be wary of allowing the government to just say you can't meet. So it's a conundrum. But, but I see thousands of Christians, and this is my point, up in arms over these COVID restrictions. They're talking about it, they're tweeting about it, they're Facebooking about it. But yet, when we look at this crisis, again, of only 9% of Americans engaging with the Bible daily, not even one in 10, 9%, I mean, this is what really matters, right? This is what we should be up in arms about. And then we've got an amazing statistic from the American Bible Society that 68% of Americans are Bible curious, that people want to know about the Bible right now, and that people are engaging with the Bible more than they have before COVID. And I get it, life is busy, but if we're not the ones reading the Bible, if we're not the ones in tune, how are we gonna help the 68% of the people out there who are searching, who are looking, the millions of people who want to know more about God? I mean, perhaps we should better prepare ourselves if we're hoping to reach those people. And why would we not want to reach those people? So I guess my point is at the end of the day, in the midst of this crisis, Really, we need to write ourselves first before we go out and tell other people to write themselves. And sure, have an opinion on the church openings, go out and talk about it, but the pivotal real thing is that spiritual battle that's happening in the midst of all of this. And I think a lot of us are overlooking that. 9% is a pathetically sad percentage of Americans to be engaging with the Bible every day. And this has been a problem that's a long time coming. COVID isn't helping, but if we take churches away, why suddenly are we not engaging? Why suddenly are we disconnected? Is the faith our own? Is it in us? Is it part of us? Or is it just something we do on Sunday? That's the question we have to face, and I'm hoping we face it because there are a lot of people out there who want to know the truth, and we can help them.